Same entry I saw at the hunt club. Same entry. If I'm not mistaken, Grossberg was trying to cash in on all the excitement around the Mrs. Zoo Wolves. Von Zell must have been the new business partner Grossberg told Dorn about. Not even a ring in the tub. Not surprised for someone as anal as Von Zell. Nothing in the sink. Nothing unusual about the rug. Hello. Someone's been tromping around barefoot in the mud. Orange mud at that. Looks like we finally have a chance to talk. Well, as long as my glass is full, you can ask me anything you like. Are you especially close to anyone at the club? Oh, I drift on the fringes here, Knight. You, however, seem to have gone straight to the top. Oh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, don't be modest. Everyone can see you as a new golden boy. Why do you think Von Zell bothers to hate you? Are you and Von Zell good friends? No, I was never good enough for Von Zell. <laughs> now, I get along better with those who do not think so much of themselves. Von Agner? No. Von Agner's a good man. Dr. Klingmann, too, I like. He comes by the Donizel and drinks with me sometimes. Well, you could stop by sometime if you want. Yeah, I don't like drinking alone. Well, thanks. Maybe I will. Yeah.
You and Klingman make an unlikely pair. <laughs> what do you find to talk about? Herr Doctor likes to discuss the club philosophy. He's very enthusiastic, you know. And that's what made him want to join in the first place. <laughs> you sponsored Klingman's membership. Me? No. Von Zell. Von Zell? He doesn't seem like the welcoming type. Oh, that's what I thought, too. You know, when Van Zell brought Klingman in, I thought they must be very close. But the way Klingman asks questions, you, you'd think he hardly knew Von Zell. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, who can say why Van Zell does anything? <laughs> Is there any reason you don't want a room with Price? No, you may not have noticed, but the man is a rotting schwein. Why the Baron puts up with him, I will never know. I can tell you what he's doing right now, up there in his room. He has shut himself in the bathroom. And he isn't taking a bath. Mm. I tell you, you can't turn your back on a man like that. No one is safe. I thought Price was a hotshot lawyer. Yeah, was. Ten years ago. He's lucky he doesn't need the money now because he can't get work. Why not? He's too obvious with his nature, you know? Okay, so maybe other men are like this, you know, thinking only what's between their legs. Price, he has no respect for normal human decency. He flaunts his perversion. Isn't that what the club's about? Getting in touch with one's instincts, uh, being primal. Yeah, okay, so it is. Uh, that's a question for the Baron, not for me. I, uh, I only say what I see about Price. Hmm. This is a nice hunting lodge. Do y'all come here often? Oh, at least once a month altogether. <laughs> oh, we can come any time we want by ourselves. Do you have any other properties where you all hunt? Yeah, we have a lodge at Alfdorf, but we don't go there much. It is not so convenient as this one. Alfdorf? Mm -hmm. Is the club in Alfdorf close to a forest, too? Well, not close. In. It's in the Naturpark Schwäbisch Frankreich Wald. Of course it is. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? Black Wolf? No. Thanks for the talk. Yeah, auf Wiedersehen. What do you want, Knight? Just scoping things out. Really? Look all you want at the great wonders of this room, then leave and trying to rest. I wouldn't mind a chat. Hildegun and Parcival. Nice name. My God. Don't worry. I'm not going to turn you in. Please, Sir Knight. It, it would mean my job. Yeah, I said I wouldn't. Not if you tell me exactly what happened. I'm afraid. Of Von Zell. It's his fault. I only followed his instructions. Why did Von Zell want to kidnap those wolves? Um... He said he wanted to own a pair because he admired their nature as predators. He, he told me he would keep them in a private place, a safe place, to study. How did you meet Van Zell in the first place? He came to one of my lectures about three months ago. He was very knowledgeable about wolves, very. Uh, he said he admired my work. I was impressed by his knowledge and his title. 
Then he told me about the club, about how exclusive it was, about their philosophy. It was, it was like a dream come true for me. Yes, it is seductive. So the wolves were your price of admission. How did you get the wolves out of the zoo? Um, I led Baron von Sell and another man that I didn't know into the zoo through a, a delivery gate. The other man drugged the wolves with some meat. When they were asleep, he and von Sell uh, put two of them into the truck and drove off. I was afraid when the police came and investigated the next day, but they didn't find anything. I, th I thought we had gotten away with it. Then the killing started. The wolves aren't responsible. They were shipped to Taiwan. They never hurt anyone. That is... That is more of a relief than you could possibly imagine. But the wolves... Are they safe? I don't have that information. What do you think? <sighs> Guess that's all I need to know. Please don't say anything to the police. I swear I have told you everything. Yeah, I know. I won't tell your dirty little secrets. For safekeeping. You enjoy your nap, Doc? Nice closet. That five. Cheers. These might come in handy. There are traces of an orangish mud in the print. There are traces of an orangish mud in the print.
The earth is orange over here. Must be some minerals in the soil. that smell. Christ! It's a big fucking hole. Something's down there.
What is it? What's happened? Happened? Uh, nothing happened. You look like you've seen a ghost. No, I... Sweet Jesus. In the woods. Show me. Where are you going? In there. Something must be done. Did you see him in there? Did you see Von Zell? Von Zell? No. I didn't see anybody. Only the bodies. But he was in there before. Eating. Von Zell is a werewolf. It looks like he's been killing like this for a long time, using the woods for cover at this lodge and at your other lodge in Alfdorf. I think he stalks his victims to learn their habits and then attacks them in secluded spots. He drags them back here to the cave to eat. The victims are reported missing since no bodies are ever found. Von Zell's careful not to let himself be seen in wolf form. One woman did see him, but no one believed her. Then something changed. I don't know why. Von Zell cooked up this plan to steal wolves from the zoo. Wolves that public mutilations could be blamed on. But he needed an inside man. So he seduced Klingman into wanting to join the club. Then used a lure of sponsorship to set up the kidnapping. But then he needed a way to get rid of the wolves, a way that guaranteed the wolves wouldn't be found by the police. He knew the club got exotic animals on the black market. He'd been doing it for years. Von Agner had built up a massive debt to Von Zell. The Von Zell offered to subtract part of it if Von Agner gave him the name of the exotic's contact. The contact was a man named Grossberg. Now, Grossberg was perfectly willing to get rid of the wolves for a fee. Grossberg got greedy. When he read of the wolf killings in the newspaper, he tried to blackmail Von Zell. That's when Von Zell killed him. I knew Von Zell was deeply disturbed, but this is incredible. Yeah, but it's true. We have to call the police. I know the man in charge of the case. No! The police would never believe us. Nothing in their mentality prepares them for something like this. Besides, I am responsible for Von Zell. I knew that philosophy was powerful, but... I never realized that someone could take it to such a hideous conclusion. I helped create this. I must stop it. With your help, that is. What are you proposing? That you and I hunt him. Tonight. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's what you came to the club to do, isn't it? Hunt down and kill Tony Huber's murderer. How do you know? You're not the only one who can ask questions. It's all right. I'm glad you showed up. Now we must act. Meet me at the stable at midnight. Until then, be discreet. The others could only slow us down. All right. Tonight it is.
what rough beast slouches towards the hand, it's prey to be undone. Don't, you're creeping me out. Am I? I have a tendency to do that to people. How are they close? I feel like Lord fucking Byron. Nonsense. You look better than he ever did. And you'll need that extra warmth tonight. We don't ride much in the States. We are not taking the horses. It's too dangerous to ride at night. I suppose you have a plan? We need to corner him. The best place is the ravine. I think I'd better run defense. I'm sure you have your own methods. But if I were you, I would keep close. Stay right behind me. I heard something. Friedrich! Jack! <laughs> 